Oh, good morning from Two Happy Children Farm. I'm in the sweet corn fields and we're uh, doing irrigation on the fields. I wanted to thank uh, O'Neill Family Farms. He's a farmer out of Nebraska, uh, grows corn and soybeans. You guys should follow him, but um, sometimes I ask him some stupid questions since they irrigate up there. And uh, I had a question about when should I start irrigating sweet corn and He's been pretty much right on the money. Um, sweet corn doesn't have the root vigor like your field corn does. So you probably have to start your irrigation about a week earlier than field corn. Um, just to make sure nothing gets set back. Anyways, we're in uh, the first planting of sweet corn. Um, this is a half acre spot. And uh, we split it by uh, day length on this first planting. So I got multiple harvests coming through here. Um, I just finished irrigating. Uh, we use drip irrigation. So you can see the row has a drip tape right next to it. And I'm irrigating just a quarter acre at a time. Um, so after I finish uh, the eight rows, I pull the tape over to the adjacent field and uh, irrigate that one. Um, on this first run, it's it's kind of a pain in the ass, but I think it's important to get these guys moving ahead and at least carried over until we get some moisture. Um, this field got irrigated two days ago. And it's already perking up and showing a lot of life. Um, as a comparison, this is the field corn uh, planted two weeks ahead of the sweet corn. And it's uh, going to take its time and, and get through this, but... I think it just has better roots. So uh, that's an update. We're irrigating. I, I put about an inch and a half per acre on with this run. And since it's directed right at the roots, I think I'm getting a little better efficiency. And then once the corn gets too tall, you can't pull the tape across it. Uh, you'll knock over and break the stalks. So this uh, irrigation project is just going to go on. Uh, this week and next week on this field and uh, I'll probably at the very last chance I'll probably get a good three inches down on it and then hopefully we can carry into May and get some typical rains um, this field was planted same time longer maturity and he'll get his first drink uh, since 12 days ago so he's got about inch and a half on them since planting and then this planting was done two weeks ago so as we work our way through the season the drip tape is going to end up on the latest planted corn and I have two more plantings scheduled and the final planting will harvest maybe the 10th of July and that's the one that'll have the drip tape on it for the full season because I won't be dragging it anymore and with a full season of water, that final planting should make a really good crop. So if you got water, you can you can grow corn. And uh, that's the plan here. Just nurse these first plantings along. And hopefully they'll get it into to May rains. And then the last plantings, we'll nurse them along into May and then carry them through late June when we're in the mid 90s every day and into a July harvest. So thanks for watching and uh, that's how we irrigate our sweet corn. Labor intensive, but it's a high value crop that people really enjoy um, getting fresh picked sweet corn.